Charlie, 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 Charlie Clips. You already know what to do and what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Charlie Clips, y'all, it's about time. It is about time that niggas start giving Charlie Clips some of the respect and admiration that he deserves. Charlie Clips, in his last couple of battles, has been able to show up and demolish the folks that's in front of him. And I know, I know, I know, I heard, I heard, I heard, oh, Charlie Clips don't take battle rap serious no more, oh, Charlie Clips this, Charlie Clips that. But, Lou Castro, Chess, uh, B-Dot, now Yoshi, this nigga been on, Charlie Clips been on a run. A run run. And he been getting the job done. And I could, I, I've known Charlie Clips for a couple years now. As far as, you know, through battle rap and shit like that, you know, Instagram, uh, Twitter, we speak, no, not Twitter, um, Instagram. And we cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got no issue when we had a little pseudo battle back in the, I beat him. But, what I was saying was, this nigga is so focused that you can't even count him out. Before you could see Charlie Clips battling, you're like, man, nah, he ain't finna win that. You see him versus Rum Nitty, you're like, ah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. But I don't know what turned or what changed in Clips to now. When you see him on a card, it's like, yo, Clips is probably going to fuck whoever it is up standing in front of him right now. And he's got pockets of material that you know are written. Like, he's not, he's not up there just trying to freestyle his way. Now, he was so good in his battle versus Yoshi G. He was able to freestyle a portion of his first round then jumped into a perfectly crafted written round. Like, I, I haven't seen Charlie Clips do this since probably 2006, 15, 16, like, like the early era Clips. Like, he goes into his first round, uh, ladies make some noise, fuck y'all, uh, flames third, uh, you won't get a call back, fuck you for putting the tampon in the garbage, and then fuck you, and he started doing that. He freestyled her shit. Tell Mario and Luigi that Yoshi in the streets catching real licks. Then he, he just he kept going. Army fatigue, color Camaro. It looked like I've been around Dolph. Like this shit was, he was in a bag versus her. Uh, he said uh, he had an airplane scheme. I'm kind of done with the airplane schemes. I said it on the long live stream last night, but he did have one versus her. Uh, then he went on, uh, and he said, you like, uh, you like to jump on planes because they had a cockpit. That's where he was going to with the, uh, airplane scheme. And then he went to the Nintendo, the Genesis, uh, you ain't sucked the blood out the crib. Your mouth always be open on Sundays. Wrestling fans suck it, DX. You a sucker, no wonder Nintendo named it DS. He was wilding on her in his first round. Yoshi comes out in her first round. She had a couple bars, but to me, like I said, in the previous joints, I just felt like Charlie Clips is way, the level of competition, the rim is too high. Like, I fuck with Yoshi, I like what Yoshi does as far as promoting herself. She came from the bottom, like, like people looked at her originally as a gimmick, like nobody even knew whether she was gonna make it in battle rap, you know what I'm saying? I know she was doing a couple blogs and shit, she tried that hand, and she was doing the battle rap shit, and then it was the ghost right now the gate. It was mad. She, she had to fight through so much adversity to do the Tory Do shit, to win that, to uh, she battled Bill Clay. She had mad battles, you know what I'm saying? But she had her biggest moment tonight. It was Charlie Clips. I mean last night it was her biggest moment. Like to be able to stand in front of an MC that's as talented as Charlie Clips that when he takes you serious, because I tweeted, if Charlie Clips cares, this is not gonna be fair. Because him losing when he cares is very rare, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, bars, bars, bars. Yeah, put something in the tip jar on the way out. So Yoshi in her first round, uh, the new gun title on the ratchet, the gymnastics, uh, from Lux to Lou, your career is doing backflips. I like that. Then she had the sax fifth, the blow the sax fifth. I like that. Uh, she had uh, the lottery schemes, doing number on his balls. Uh, she had the... Um, Something fun side, she had the finger licking line, she had the bone appetite, uh, relatives breakdown, meet my man in my dreams, like the movie script, Lori Harvey, future, and she had the Marcus, uh, the, the Mr. Marcus, the super headline, and ish like that, ish like that. Uh, her first round was cool, but it was real choppy poppy, I'm not gonna hold you. Real choppy poppy, it was not clean. Um, Al, the crowd was not the greatest, you know what I'm saying, I'm not gonna hold you, the crowd was not the greatest, but you're still at this level. 
I've seen people perform in front of bad crowds and really get their shit off. Uh, you gotta find a way to get your shit off, especially against the Charlie Clips, because if you don't get it off, when he starts his second round, it's gonna be the continuation. He starts off his second round, you bring up Mr. Market, your hat, you wear your hat just like him, and then she slammed the hat on the floor, I'll make you retire. You slammed your hat like Rex, I'll make you retire just like him. Rebuttals is hidden. Uh, I'll never let you put your mouth on my blunt. Congratulations to you and the seven dudes writing for you. He does a ghost down. He does the ghost writing allegations. Uh, then he does the, um, he's, Charlie Clips just starts jumping in his bag. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's actually freestyle right now. You don't need it. You need Jesus. And I brought him for you. And I brought him for you. Uh, Jesus comes in. Uh, in paradise, we don't got space for thoughts. You better down on your knees for the right reason. You sucked up so many of my children. I could still hear him screaming. Giving, speaking in tongues a whole different meaning. He's wild enough. The fucking fake Jesus comes out. The white Jesus comes out. I'm thinking in my mind, like, why'd you put the white Jesus out? But he brings him out anyway. Uh, shout out to my man Z to drop out. Uh, he comes out. He plays the perfect role of the uh, Jesus. He has a thing on. Then he comes back. And Jesus, I, I hit you with construction. You know that I'm busting. And the Jesus, what you doing? You be all move out my way, son. I'm the second coming. Shit was crazy. Yo, she's in the bag by then. I'm like, oh my god, nigga, is she gonna do anything? What can she do? What can she do to prevent going out like she's about to? She comes out and has the biggest moment of her, you know, up up and coming career. She says, you picked the right heathen. But why'd you pick the white Jesus? It was fire, rebuttal, shook the build, and everybody's going crazy. I'm like, oh, yes, we got one. She, she had a fire rebuttal. That shit was dope. Then after that, I, I, I'm sorry, man. Like, she, she it just, I oh, mean, she talked about the, uh, the distant Eminem with the black squad and nobody black. Passed the torch to Charlie. Uh, rather bring Mace back. Uh, only killer on cam, dip set, ASAP, she had a Harlem Globetrotters line, uh, make a ball spin on a good day. Like, her second round was after the rebuttal, it was like, I ain't gonna hold you, man, I, I'm sorry, yeah, it is what it is, I mean. I expected the Tory Doe shit, I respected, uh, the, the battles that she went crazy in, I'm expecting that, I'm like, yo, you battling Charlie Clips, Charlie Clips is way better than Tory Doe and all the other niggas you've been battling, so I know you're gonna bring next level fucking out of this world material. To me, it was just all right, Charlie Clips gets the second, and moving on, Charlie Clips gets the third, man. Uh, Charlie Clips just kept on going, man. The Super Mario Brothers uh, line, uh, he had the the, the, uh, the mushrooms, the abuse of the mushrooms, the big-headed princess, uh, I don't know what toad, you're bringing your sibling, Yoshi like the Smash Bros, he's just fucking going crazy. Uh, but I will give Yoshi G props, because the crowd was ass. They was like fucking up, you know what I'm saying, some of her shit. Charlie Clips was getting 3-0 chance in like the fucking two lines into the second round. So you facing one of the biggest stars in battle rap ever, and you was able to keep your composure while getting smoked. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you lost every round. You ain't with no rounds. I'm just saying. You ain't with no rounds. Call like I call it so I can't spoil it. So I don't know where you from. I think you just said Washington State, wherever. Don't worry. We got shipping and handling. I can get this out to you. This is definitely your L. Um... But you didn't lose the worst. I will say that. You know what I'm saying? You didn't lose the worst. But you definitely lost 3-0. Um, I, I look forward to seeing you again. You know what I'm saying? You did your thing. Uh, and, and it was what it was. But Charlie Clips is just Charlie Clips. And it's really... That's as much as I could go with that one. You know what I'm saying? Um, if we continue to see him, he's going to be battling at a high level. And this nigga's going to be breaking, folks. Like, Charlie Clips... You gotta watch out for him. Like, at this stage of his career, when he halfway cares, it ain't gonna be fair. And it don't matter what the opponent is. I've seen him do it versus punchline guys. I've seen him do it against breakdown guys. I've seen him do it against chess. I've seen him do it against B Dot. I just seen him do it against Yoshi. I am convinced. Push all my chips. I'm jumping on the Charlie Clips bandwagon. And whatever his next battle is, I'm gonna be looking at it like, yo. He's undefeated on the app. Charlie Clips is not. The, the, after everything Charlie Clips done been through in his career, 
Ups, downs are indifferent. We've all been through shit in our career, especially when you live in the public eye. You know what I'm saying? Like when people are watching you, people are subscribing to you, people, people are always going to, they're going to celebrate your L's more. They're going to talk about your L's more than they celebrate your W's. But I'm giving Charlie Clips flowers because it's like, yo, to see him turn his career around with Wildin' Out, with everything that he's got going on, and to still show up to these battles, and now he's bringing, he's not just freestyling his way through. He's not, hmm, hmm. Now he's not doing none of that. He's bringing smoke, direct smoke to the opponents, and you could tell material is written. That Jesus shit was written. The first round was written. He's coming with rounds that are written, you know? That angle was perfectly schemed, perfectly placed together, and you gotta give Charlie Clips uh, his props and admiration for that. So for that being said, I have Charlie Clips winning this battle after the second watch. 3-0. And you already know what it's doing, what it does, so you ain't gotta ask what it was.